Good morning, everybody. Today, we are going to do a house tour. So I think out of every video we've had, the most comments and questions we've had asking is, we wanna see your house. So that is one thing I guess that kind of separates us and makes us unique in our homestead as we did do our house different. And I know plenty of people did, but um, we just wanted to walk through today, kind of give you the steps that we did and some more of the details on our house. So as you can see behind me, that is our 30 by 48 pole barn kit that we got with an eight foot porch. So total is 38 by 48. Now I'm gonna flip you around. All right, check out this water line. So we put this in this past summer when it was getting close to late fall. We hooked up on the compound. That's my parents' house. Behind those trees is another good friend of ours. Down below those trees is another cousin. And then across the way there is uh, our cousin's land that's right beside us. And then our aunt and cousin are a little bit further. My great grandfather was a good man. He uh, had all of this land. He had four kids. He was offered a million dollars to sell to Flying J, which is now the exit that way. And he, did, he turned it down. He turned it down because he wanted to leave this land in his family. He was a tobacco farmer. And so when he passed away, and as well as my great grandmother, he nodded off about six acres each for each of his kids. And of course, most of his kids, which one of them uh, is my grandmother, she had already had an established home and everything. So she gave it to my mother and father and stepfather. So they lived down there. And then we're up here. And so we just have us a real nice compound going on. We love having family all together. There isn't anything better. So the very first project I ever did for this house, which was back in 2013, I think 2013 before this was even an idea, were our shutters. They, they're simple, but man, that was one of the biggest accomplishments that I think I felt just because this project felt real and it was exciting. So here's the front door, pretty basic standard porch. All right, let's see what's happening in here. Hello family. All right, so this is the living room and the kitchen. Now, there's a lot to talk about in here. Oh, hey Jess. She seems to always be on our TV lately. <laughs> All right, so before we go over and see what the family's up to, let's talk about a few things. So I think what one of the best things about a pole barn kit that really perked our interest was, you have zero load bearing walls. So this place is a complete blank canvas to make it however you want to. One thing that we love is having a completely open concept. Uh, we didn't even put, as you can tell, a single wall up to separate the kitchen and the living room. Allows us to be over there cooking, and we always host the holidays here, so everybody's just together all the time. Another thing you'll see is the top is unfinished, partially uh, on purpose with a wood burning stove and then that little guy right there in the corner being our source of heat. Um, it's nice to have those open because it does help with the heat flow going from room to room. You'll notice we also don't have doors on our doors, door frames, and that's for the same reason. Once the kids get older and they want more of their privacy, we'll make their rooms uh, more private, get them set up and everything, but that's a long ways away. Right now they're little and enjoying themselves and don't mind being around us. So you also notice the flooring, it's just pieced together carpet. And the reason we haven't finished the floor or didn't finish it before we started in is because our outside is very muddy and we do a lot of work and it's still a construction zone basically and a project set up. And we didn't want to spend big, big money getting the flooring done and then ruin it. So right now this works, it's just carpet that we uh, either 
so families go, but we mainly went to like uh, furniture stores or whatever and carpet stores and this was like their leftover. So we got it very discounted and just put it down in different spots to cover the floor to, to make it comfy. This is the direct living room. Um, you'll notice that we used to have both of these windows on each side and it was really cool and pretty. But if you caught our greenhouse video, you know we repurposed one of them for, uh, for the greenhouse window vent. But on this side, we have our micro greens, which we just harvested today. Kids got their clip chart. We got our project list. So we're starting to mark some things off. All my cast iron. I love cast iron cooking. I can't wait till it starts really getting warmer. We can be outside and I'll show you all a lot of cast iron cooking videos. I made this uh, um, coat, coat rack out of um, barn wood and then I just put the finishes on there. All right, let's see what they're doing over here. They're being awfully quiet. That's unlike them. <laughs> What are you doing, Wyatt? Uh, working on my numbers. Working on your numbers? Let's see. Dang, son. Look at you. How old are you? Five. Five. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> When's your birthday? Do I live? That's yeah. right. That's right. Okay. What are you all doing over here? That's good. We are making a salad for lunch. Nice. So I just harvested this morning from my microgreens. I got kale, salad mix, and alfalfa. And we had some salad mix, so we're just kind of mixing a little bit all of that together and probably grill some chicken and put in it for lunch. Nice. Sounds delicious. Where are you guys helping? <laughs> so this is our kitchen area. It's just Jennifer, she wanted open shelving. That's all she wanted. So everything's exposed, all of our clutter and junk. <laughs> we tried to make it pretty. Jennifer really does good. Up here is more of a pretty stuff, but you know, we're lived in, it's a living house. We can't always stay perfect with, with keeping the junk out, especially with two kids. All right, good job. Good job. All right. So going this way, you go into our bedroom, which Jennifer had a video on recently on why we're called the Waltons. And I just finished the ceiling in here and I didn't get uh, a ceiling fan. So that's why it's a little dark. We don't have much light going on in here. Here's the bathroom, shower, washer and dryer, toilet, hot water heater. So as you can see, we're unfinished. Um, I still got to wall this up and I haven't got the ceiling in the bathroom yet. We still have some pending plumbing things that we have to complete before I get that sealing up. Don't have to take it back down. All right. And we enter out here. We go straight to the kids' rooms. Say hi. Can I show your room right now? Yeah. All right. All right, Raylan. We'll see your room. Whoa. Look at this room. Think you got enough toys? Yeah. Are you spoiled a little? No. <laughs> Good answer. All right. So she's got plenty of stuff to keep her busy in here. Oh, well, that was a nice, Wyatt. Oh, so sweet. All right, Wyatt, you want to show them your room? Yeah. Okay, so his room is a homeschool room and also our baby chick room and guineas. Let's see how they're doing. So here's our two Polish. Oh, oh. Here, there you go. I want to see. Here's our two Polish. The red light's not really getting it clean. Here's the big ones. Here's our five guineas. They are crazy. This is our first time ever having guineas. We've had, like I said, if you've caught some of our other videos, you know we've had chickens before, but it's the first time having guineas and they are nuts. <laughs> I think uh, 
my wife told me about how annoying they can be and how they keep other predators away. I'm like, well, that's cool. But I started thinking, okay, what makes them annoying? And it's their sound, so I think they might keep us away too. <laughs> These little guys are sweet. Yeah, they are. They're just gentle and kind. And these guys and are the These are our bigger ones. That's Isa Browns and then Anthrolore. I can never say it right. And Wyatt gets the best view. He gets a shot at the greenhouse. That's our hot tub. She's down for the, the winter. But she's got the goat pen, our old chicken coop. Gets a good view of the backyard. And I got my chickens. Yep, mm -hmm. and you got your chickens. Yeah, this is kind of our rotation for the bigger ones. Remember. They got a few more weeks and they'll go out to the coop. And these guys, guys you might know our bedroom. I think you already told them about the bedroom, remember? <laughs> All right, so that's just his room. Get there. Yep, trying to roost. I want to see a little bit. Wyatt's karate belts. I better watch out for him. I want to see a little bit. I want to see that. All right. And then the last thing is this room. I'll give you a little peek. Oh, gosh. Oh, thank God it's dark. You can't see everything. <laughs> all right so that's the gist of our home um it's 1440 square feet we love it everything you see in here might not be perfect we know that we know there's uh things that could be better um things that we still have to do so um to give a little more info though on this house um the reason we chose a pool barn uh jen and i are both 29 years old and in six more years we're gonna have this our house completely paid off so we'll be homeowners by the age of 35 and that's amazing we're super excited about it so if you have if anyone is interested in doing pole barn kits um when we started this process jennifer was blogging um and she has a lot of old pictures of when we broke ground um when we were here getting it put together uh all the steps uh so hopefully we can find that it's been several years since we did it um, before we actually moved in this house we lived in a camper in the backyard we wanted to be up here so bad um but I hope you've enjoyed this home tour. If you have more comments, please put it below. Also, we'll be live tonight at uh, 8.30. We're gonna be live at 8.30? Yeah. yeah, 8.30 live tonight? Yes, yep. All right, so we're gonna be live at 8.30 tonight. So if you have any questions or comments and that you're thinking of right now, join that with us. Um, that'll be a great time for us to talk it out. Um, we'll also hopefully be able to show you more too if, uh, if you do have a question about something that you, that you saw today. So I hope you all enjoyed it. That's our house. Until next time. See y'all.